Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. Today we are going to be kicking off a really fun series on the vlog. Um, this is tentatively called like a trick or treat type of series, but basically there are a lot of different suggestions out there on the internet via Pinterest or Instagram or some of your favorite bloggers and vloggers um, that are suggesting different tips and tricks that make different aspects of your sewing easier, faster, better, all of those things. And this week I've taken a few of them and we are going to be trying them out to A, see if they even work at all, and B, to see if they do make your sewing any better, faster, or any of that. So we're kind of like testing out these theories and possibly dispelling them, possibly validating them, and we're gonna just see how they all shake out. Um, these are kind of the ones that I hear the most often, um, but you'll have to watch each day this week um, to see how it went. Today, we are going to start with one of the most tedious processes if you own a serger, this machine here, and that is re-threading the serger. So I am going to show you an option for how to change the thread in your serger without actually re-threading it through all the different mechanisms. So let's see how it turned out. Okay, so now we're gonna do the trickery way, the cheater way to change your serger thread from one color to the next. This is not going to involve re-threading any of this. To be perfectly honest with you guys, I tried this once and it was a massive fail. So I have no guarantees that this is gonna work, but supposedly it, it works like a charm for other people. So we're gonna give it a go. On this one, you're gonna to wanna to cut your threads closer to the number one because you need the length here. So snip all those real high. Remove all of these guys. Put your whatever serger thread you're using into on the cone holders. And then you're going to take each thread, loop it through the number one, and then literally tie it to this one, like a knot. Like so. And then trim them so they're not super long. So you can see, there, we have the like taupe tied to the black. So I'm gonna do that to all four of these. Okay, so now that we have them all tied off, you want to just move all your tension discs to zero. And then you push the pedal and pull this out and it's supposed to pull all the strings through all the threading and you're supposed to have it changed over. So let's see. I'm nervous. Low expectations. <laughs> okay, I think it worked. I think it worked. Okay, so there you have it. It went from black to my little olive, my lighter color, from the darker color to the lighter color. You can see that there. Okay, so actually, that's pretty awesome. So then you would take your scrap of fabric, let's use what we have here, take it all back up to the fours like we did before, and then start testing out the tensions again. We're like back to square, Back to, not square one, but the same testing process, no matter how you thread it. Okay, and there you, there you have it. A re-threaded serger without having to mess with any of the threading. Um, actually, Oh, this guy came undone, so it's only a three, 
So this one didn't actually latch on. And I think that's what happened before is my knot came undone um, on one or more of them. So I ended up having to re-thread part of it anyways. I mean, this made it all the way except for through the needle eye. So all in all, it's not that bad, but still. And this is not wanting to go through. But you guys get the picture. So, so as you can see there, initially it seemed... Like, it was great. And I will say, getting three threads through there and only having to, like, re-thread the needle isn't that big of a deal. So, all that considered, I will say, this is a pretty neat trick. And I will say that it it actually works. Um, I probably just needed to pay a little bit more attention to how I tied those knots and maybe even triple tie them just to make sure they're super secure. But all in all, I thought that was a pretty handy trick. And if you're a lot of, like a lot of people are when they first get their serger, um, if you're afraid of <laughs> taking out your threads for the fear that you may never get them back through the machine the way they're supposed to go ever again, this might be a neat cheater option. But I will say with a lot, a lot of practice, doing it the way your manual suggests does become really quick, kind of thoughtless, um, easy process. So it's kind of like a practice makes perfect. So I encourage you all to keep trying it the right way. But if you're just in a pinch, this trick actually did work really well. So check back tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to talk about um, filling your bobbin. Tomorrow is a nifty bobbin trick. So check back tomorrow for that video. And then as the week goes on, I'll be updating the description boxes to include all the links for all the videos in the series in case you miss one or you want to go back and review another one. Everything you need to know will be in the description box below. So until tomorrow for our next trick, I'll see you all very soon. Bye!